Hey, Walmart got a bunch of these pops. Is, is, it, is pops dying, guys? What do you guys think? I th to me, I think Funko is actually dying as far as pops go. But um, check this out. They actually got restocks on the It Dairy exclusive. This was originally a GameStop exclusive. Now it's, um, I guess, Walmart or everywhere. This is the bloody variant. Obviously, the paint's going to be fixed. But you know what, though? I think they released this a long time ago again like at stores but it's cool to see again if you guys don't have this definitely keep an eye out and they still have these turtles sets hitting here or sitting here that's new i think and then the rocketeer one which is tempting but 40 dollars price tag is a little bit too much oh and they have the batman rubies mask again and those things are real crappy i can already tell here this is going to be like really disappointing as far as like carrying oh whoa what this is new they actually have some new stuff Yo, they got, well, I think the Legend stuff they already had here. Because the last time I was here, they had a full set of the, um, this X-Men, X-Men Wave. But it looks like they did have at one point the, uh, this is DC's, this is Rebirth, Darkseid, and Batman. So, obviously, this sold out. But there's Walmarts that are not too far from here that actually are stocked to the pegs with these characters. Yeah, these are pretty cool, though. Um, I don't know if these are new or any of these are new. I'm not 100% sure. But I thought I saw something else. Oh, this is new too. They're finally carrying some Black Adam stuff because it seemed like for a, uh, a month or two they weren't ha they didn't have any new DC Multiverse figures. And I don't know if there's any new. Whoa, doesn't? Well, there's. Th is this new? I don't. This looks like it's new. I don't know. I don't feel like I've seen this Batista before. But there's not a lot of not a lot of wrestling figures. Normally it's pretty stocked here. Oh, they got some new ornament. Whoa. Check out this Jaws ornament. What is it? Oh, no way. I'm freaking picking up some air fresheners. This is so cool. It's a VHS Jaws freaking ornament. They have, a, they have some of the Batman, uh, Miles Morales right there. They also have these like we're, like these pins, these ornament pins. There's Batman, WWE. Look at that. They got the Green Ranger. And Nintendo, the Spider-Man one's really cool. We also got Black Panther, the Hulk, Sonic, another VHS here of like the Little Mermaid style. That is Mando, Captain America. And then there's, a, there's some Spider-Man pins down there. Also have a, like a Sonic one. Oh, there's an indie one here too. Oh, these are Funkos. These are, there's actually a, a Batman Funko one ornament. This is pretty cool, man. Why did I not never know this? I guess probably because I never come down. Oh, look at that. They got freaking Gizmo over there, too. Oh, they got a Gremlins VHS one. And I just noticed there's a He-Man one there. And then there's also another... I saw another VHS one here. Oh, they also got a Jurassic Park VHS. We interrupt our program at the request of the White House. This is the emergency broadcast system. All right, guys. Welcome to a new segment where we're going to be talking about items that you should probably wait for clearance a lot of it's going to be hasbro related items because they're kind of overpriced right now so i would wait and you'll probably find them cheaper either on amazon or in the target's clearance aisle look at this dude this is fully stocked all these spider-mans here see all that and then this is my first time seeing these the um marvel's spinneret with spider-man that's pretty interesting and then tons of these man look at all this that is crazy to see all these this target doesn't have any of the new NECA stuff though by the way um still some Thors but that is a crazy amount of stock for these legends all right stopping by a Walmart to see what they have um as far as DC stuff go they still have their whole display here uh looks like they put some looks like they mix some of their black Black Adam stuff over here. Let's see what else? There's some. I still have not found the. Um, oh, maybe it's here. The Razor Crest. Nope. Bunch of those. Nothing. Damn, I still have the Lightyear stuff. Like, this stuff needs to get, like, pushed out already. Um, what do we got up top? Oh, man, there's not a whole lot here. Let's see, they have this whole display. What's. That was, like, some stuff hidden. This is where i had spotted that extra asbat i'm gonna say is there another one here but i really doubt it now superman yeah, a lot of the same stuff this is 
pretty sure it's all dark side. See, like the one that I have is in perfect condition. This one's crunched, bent. That over here. A lot of the same stuff. All right. I haven't seen this guy in a while. I feel like I haven't seen this one in a while too, but I could be wrong. See, I mentioned this in one of my streams or one of my videos that I had never seen this one before. And this is a new one from the squadron. And it's a cool ship, but I just don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna get anything. As far as like a ship that I don't really know or don't care for, um, it's cool, but not gonna get this one. Man, I haven't been in a Best Buy to look at their action figures in quite a while. And wait, is this the, um, no, I'm not gonna leave it here, guys. All right, let's see. Is this the new one? From the, no. I was gonna say, I thought this is the one from, um, not Mando, uh, the Book of Boba Fett. This isn't it, right? No. But it's, I think it's just like a strict repaint on him. That's cool seeing that here. They also have some of the X-Men wave. Havoc. Oh, man. I actually think they have a full wave here. No, there, is Wonder Man here? Yeah, they have a full wave of these. No, they don't. They're missing a couple. I mean, there's another one. There's Wolverine's there. They got armored Spider-Man here. That's pretty cool. I love this. I love this line. They have some multiverse down there. And then this guy's been sitting here. Oh, wait. I don't think I've actually even seen this guy. What the heck? Oh, wow. Look, they got Princess Leia. That's pretty cool. And the prices are 24 bucks, man. Green arrows. Here's their NECA section. They got plenty of horror figures here. I wonder if this is the new two pack right here. No, this is the regular ultimate one, I think. Oh no, this is just Chucky. Not a bad selection. I mean, for a Best Buy. See, they got another toy section here, and this is where they carry some of the other NECA stuff. So you got some aliens. Um, you have the Ash. Good selection of Funkos. And then some of the Fantastic Four classics. The Wolfman. This isn't the black and white one, right? No. Friday the 13th. Halloween Kills. It's a good figure. Crappy movie, good figure. Halloween 2018. This came to another Target, and whoa, they got their their um, Geekathon stuff. Look at all these. See, look at these. The Leonardo's are. This is like all the way to the back, stocked, and then the Usagi's. Tons of those, and then these things here. Tons of those, and then this one actually has a few more Aprils. Um, no animated stuff, but it looks like they did have them. The Neutron Neutrino pack was there, and then they have the Mummy and the Wolfman. So, pretty cool to see this. This is what I wanted to see because um, I haven't seen anything locally by me other than the place I went to to get mine last week. Uh, but I know Robocop and um, who else? Robocop's supposed to hit and somebody else. Robocop, Doc, and there's another one. I forgot who it was. But let's check out the AE Dub wrestling figures. Bautista. Squadrons, any chases? Let's check it out. But um, no, yeah, so it was, well, there was another one too. Oh, the mummy, Mikey mummy. That's supposed to hit as well. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff. I mean, me and Robert were talking about like, man, Neke is like so behind, they haven't dropped anything. And this is the reason why they were waiting for this whole geekathon thing. So at the regular Neca section, um, they have like all the leftover stuff that's here, you know, the same two packs, which is gonna be the neutrinos and uh, the rock soldiers. Those will be sitting too. And then we have some Batman. I know the black and white Batman's hitting. Um, we'll see when I find that one. Right, those are gonna be peg warmers too. Got some stuff up top, the aliens. And then uh, the ghost face down there. Look, there's a turtle box set down there too. Whoa, is this new? I think this is new. Yeah, this is new. Cool. These new Godzilla figures are pretty awesome. And looks like that's about it. Oh, there's this section too. Bunch of like leftover NECA stuff. And we got a uh, opened battering. Uh, they got a good stock too of the X-Men Marvel Legends here. 
See, this is a sign. Like I haven't seen these in a while, now I'm seeing these a lot. And ever since I got the Sentinel one, like I got it, I got to get the X Men character. See, right here they have they have Iceman. Weren't these nine ninety nine? Damn, these went up in price too. Um, oh yeah, I need Iceman. Who else do they have? Ooh, man, I almost dropped my coffee there, buddy. That's all they have. So not enough for me to buy it, buy it right now. But if I find like where there's multiple, I'll definitely get multiple of them. Yeah, look at this. Actually, looks pretty cool. That his machete is like right where his name is. How the heck did I miss this? This two packs here too. A lot of people are sitting on these because of the uh, price increases on Legends. Is that affecting any of you guys? Let me know. Let me know if the price increases is really affecting your guys' collecting. I'm curious to know about that.